bodyweight party live Yay! workout. Bodyweight power party. Look, everybody, Elizabeth is here. Hi, Elizabeth. Yeah. Cynthia is here. Jessica, can you say hi, Janine? Hi, Mariah. Yep, the creeper says hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, welcome, everybody. welcome. We are getting it done today. It is a party. Karina is here. Can you say hi, Karina? Lori, yeah. hey, Courtney's doing this. Can you say hi to Quinn? Can you say hi? Courtney's doing it with her daughter, hi, Quinn. Quinn. Sandra is here. Dana, so good to see you, Dana. Molly, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. Today we're doing a bodyweight power party workout. Elizabeth is training, <coughs> excuse me, for a half marathon. Good for you, but still doing daily workouts. Mary Beth, Sherry, Amanda, Christine, Carrie, Rhonda, Allison in Nova Scotia, Paula, hello everybody, Dixie, hi Dixie, Nikki, Laura is here, you guys, I'm so happy to see all of your names, all right team, all right, here's my setup team, can you guys go with daddy and say bye, say have a good workout, have a good workout, bye, okay, 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 Adina, hi, hi, Creeper says bye, okay, Angela is here, Cassie, Linda, I'm excited to be here Dawn hi everybody excellent excellent all right so we are getting it done today guys we are closing out our power challenge how is it the end of January that's what I want to know hey Jessica Jolene Gariana hello everybody Mackenzie all right team so we are getting it done with a bodyweight power party. Amy is here. Jennifer, we made it, body fitters. Yes, yes. I am so proud of all of you. This was a fun month. It was a challenging month. You guys all showed up in a big way and you encouraged each other and you encouraged and inspired me and I'm so grateful for that. Katie's gonna do this later. Sari, Sarah, Amy and Virginia. Ellie is ready. Rita, hello, hello. Nicole is here. Hey, Nicole. All right, team. So we're going to get it done today with a 30 minute body weight power. Now it will be somewhat similar to our kettlebell and our dumbbell power workouts. However, we are going to be getting it done uh, with a party style. And you know, when we do a party, what does that mean? We're going to do a circuit and the end of your circuit will be a choose your own adventure. We'll do it a little bit differently where we'll have one exercise that we will have all the versions of, we will have a cardio version, a strength version, a power version, and a mobility version. So it's gonna be a little bit different, but I think you are gonna have a good time with it, all right? So, hey, Sarah is here. Just finished the bar Tabata, excellent. Alyssa is here, Alicia is here, Emma, Flora, power was awesome. Yes, team, I'm so proud of you. And if you have time for a few minutes right after this, we are going to have a little chat. If you have any questions, I'll answer some questions. And then I'm gonna talk about what's coming up. Michaela is here. So good to see you, Michaela. What's coming up starting on Monday is fresh. So get excited. We're gonna be talking about it right after this. So give yourself some space. Let's go ahead and start moving our bodies. Tamika, good to see you. I'm so glad you're here. Sarah is here, Cherry is here. I'm wearing my sparkles for the party today, you guys. Let's roll those shoulders. It has been a quick month, but it's also been a long month, right? <laughs> so roll them through here and here. Ha, ah, it's the weekend, we made it and it is the end of the month. We made it through January. Whoo, let's take it right here. Let's do those eyes, Y's and T's out through here. You can just do the shoulder mobility if you wanna add a little hinge. Hey, Mallory is here. Gonna get it in later. Excited for Choose Your Own Adventure. Dotsie, hello, hello. Paula, Julie, you made it. I'm so glad. Let's do one more eyes, Y's and T's up up and here good just kind of shift your weight side to side rotate through those shoulders trying to get a little lower into those hips if you can reach reach right through here all the way walk them in right here flat back down and round it up let's get it done Whoo! 
Roll those shoulders, open up through the back, little stretch, yes. <sighs> All right team, let's do a squat and a lunge. So we're gonna do a squat and then tap back lunge. If you wanna get low, you can. Heather, shoulders are still feeling Friday's workout. I bet you're not the only one. Hey, Ash in Texas. You don't have to go super low in the lunge, but just sit low, drop it down. Let's go one more. Hold it down right here, stretch it over. And if you want, take it down, reach it up, drop it down right through here. Take that top arm, stretch. <sighs> yes. Go ahead and switch your sides right through here. Reach it up. Drop that knee. And then take it through here. Big stretch. If you are able, take it back to that high plank. Otherwise, take it back to the knees. Hey, Terrence. Terrence and Tamika hanging out. I don't know if the kids are with you today, but Stretch it back into that child's pose. Come back up to that plank. So let's just do a few of those. We're getting the core fired up. And then if you want, take it to that down dog, back to center. Whoo! Down dog, back to center. Let's get one more. And then either walk your hands back or walk your feet up. Slowly round it up. All right, team. Woo! Ha! Here we go. Let's stretch across right through here. All right, so you're just joining. We're going power party. So similar to kettlebell and dumbbell power, we will have strength version back to basics at a power version. We're also going to add a, um, <coughs> excuse me. We're going to add a cardio version. So often when we do these party workouts. We do a cardio, a strength, a mobility, and then choose your own adventures. Tierra is here, but basketball keeps me away. Enjoy the game and come back later. So choose your own adventure, but they're all going to be variations on the same move. So we'll basically have little circuits that are upper, lower, core. I think you're going to like it. All body weight, no equipment. Dixie is feeling the arm flies. Yeah, you did the upper pyramid yesterday. You were really feeling it, right? Take it right through here. Whoo! All right, Harry's getting up, getting ready to move. This is what I love about Saturday workouts. I love to make them challenging, but I also really want them to feel a little more casual. When we do them live, we can have a lot more fun with it. We're really just here to move and get it in Whew, on the weekend. All right, so we're going to start with a cardio version of our favorite squat to lunge, right? Just like we did in the warm up. So we're here, tap, here, tap. If you don't wanna jump it, you can just tap it back. All right, then we're gonna take it to a back to basics, but we're gonna take it curtsy, squat to curtsy, all right? Then we're gonna have a mobility version of it. We're gonna take it to that world's greatest stretch. Oh, and we're gonna have a power version too. I forgot, so we got a lot of versions. All right, so when we have our power version, we will really add those jumps. Cardio, I want you just to think, tap, tap, okay? So let's start with cardio. We got 40 seconds each, getting it done. Wrap that core, three, two, one. Here, tap, here, tap. Body weight, cardio with a little bit of legs, right? We're gonna mix it up as we go, right through here. Here, tap, up, just like that. If you, again, wanna keep it low impact, just here to here, right? Getting it done, you don't have to go the same speed as me. Cassie, also arms and core are burning, and Jennifer is feeling the glutes, so we're all feeling it. Let's work it out. Breathe, shake it out. All right, so that was our little cardio, right? Strength version. We're gonna take it squat to curtsy, but we're gonna go 20 seconds on the right, 20 seconds on the left. So squat to curtsy. So we'll stay all on one side, then 20 seconds on the other side. Here we go, 20 seconds. Squat, cross it over curtsy. If that curtsy is not right for you, you keep the squat or 
you take it regular lunge. Right through here, right? Same thing. And curtsy burn. Yes, that's what I'm feeling. I filmed a workout for you guys yesterday. Other side, squat, curtsy, 20 seconds. And here, whoo, and breathe. Take it here and here, five seconds. So it's gonna be a little bit of a burner because we're getting whew, a lot of the same, but mixing it up every time. Here's your power team. You're gonna like it. Let's take those toes out now, squat version. Down, if you want, pop back, pop up, bring it up, switch, lunge. You can do any or all of that, it is up to you. So here we go, plie squat, pop back, little frogger pop up, bring it up if you want, switch lunge right and left. If you don't feel like popping it back, plie, then switch lunge right through here. All right, but I want plie squat in the beginning so we really get that opener. Let's get it done, pop it back, pop it in. Ha, ha. Now all your different parts, I want you to really get them all in, but of course, woo, you can go at your own pace. Three, two, one. Oh, burn. What was I thinking? Okay, world's greatest stretch. Let's get it done, team. Step it back, reach it up, reach it through one or two times. You can either take it back to the plank or you can step up out of it. Let's get that mobility. Here we go. Whoo, step it back, reach. Big stretch. If you want the plank out of it, take the plank. Reach, big stretch. Or if you'd rather take it from the top, step up into or out of it. Up, reach, ha. Feeling it, team. Yeah, burn, right, Jess? I know. Take it down. Ha. Three, two, one. Good news, though, team. We're gonna get a good leg burn, and then we'll switch it to upper. All right, choose your own adventure, team. What do you got? Here are all your options. You can go cardio, just little taps. Squat, tap, you can go 20 seconds right, 20 seconds left, squat to curtsy. You can do that frogger, pop back, up, split squat with the power or world's greatest stress mobility. I think I'm gonna go strength. You pick what is best for you, you do you. 40 seconds, then legs are done. I'm going 20 seconds, squat to curtsy. Polly, you can totally just do a squat. I know the curtsy is not right for everybody. This is a little bit of a twist, right? We're getting in that transverse plane, which we love. So you do what's best for you. If it's just the squat, if it's a regular lunge, that works too. Other side, if you're with me, you're switching. Maybe you're getting power or cardio. Good for you. But those legs and glutes are burning. Can we get 10 more seconds? Yes, we can. Yes, you can. Stepping into your power, you did it all month long. And I am so proud of you, last one. Whoo, burn. Little hamstring curls, shake out those quads. Yes, team. I am so proud of you for that. That's why we put that one up top. We knew it would be challenged. <laughs> all right, okay. So we are down on the mat. We're gonna get some upper body. We're gonna mix it up a little bit more with this round because I don't want you on your wrist the entire time. But let's take it here. Whoo. We're gonna start up top with our cardio, then we'll take it down. I'm bringing some dumbbells. One of my wrists is really bothering me, so I might hold when we're at a plank position there, but you don't need any dumbbells. All right, we're starting with some cardio. Then we're taking it down to a little plank press. Don't worry, <laughs> you're gonna love it. <coughs> Cardio, upper body. How about we just get some punches? You can do whatever punches you want or reach across. Here we go. So you can do just regular jabs. If you want a little extra, you can do a jab and a tap. It's up to you. 
This is your cardio, it can be low impact, it can be faster, it is your workout. You do you, I don't know if you saw my Instagram yesterday or here on YouTube, but Elise, everybody's favorite friend, is coming back for a workout next week. Whew, we did a reel about how you should add your own flair to everything we do, right? Take it up, take it up. Hup. Five, four, three, two, and breathe. All right, team, so plank press. If you need to, stay on your knees. If you can, take it all the way down. Here's the spin. We're gonna lift up with the right from the ground. No, from the top. We're going down all on one side for 20 and then down all on one side for 20, all right? So you're here. It will be 20 seconds here to here, all on one side, little bend on this side. Then we switch. So it's not your right, left, right, left. It's one side, down and up, down and up. You're gonna feel it. So up on those hands, wrap that core. 20 seconds, 20 seconds in three, two, one, here we go. So you're down and up right here. What you're gonna notice is that stationary arm is getting a little tricep push up with it, right? Right through here. Yes, you can. One side, here's your strength. Switch it right here. Down and up, down and up. So you're pushing through both and that core is working hard too, right? And breathe. Yes, you can. Ha. Three, two, one. Stretch it out. All right, team. So you know what to do. Now we're going up, up, down, down, plank jack. Watch me. Down, down, up, up, jack. That's your power. Try to switch your lead arm. Right, left, right, left, jack. Left, right, left, right, power. You can do it. Here we go. Down, down, up, up, power jack. Whew. Power with that upper body. Power with that jack. Core is working hard too. If you need to be on your knees. Down, down, up, up. Bird dog works too. Down, down, up, up. Bird dog, get it done. We're halfway there, 20 seconds. You got the power, you got that upper body strength. I know. I'm feeling it too. Don't worry, you got a breather coming. Down, down, up, up. 10 seconds. Are you with me? Ha, yes you are. Last one. Breathe. Stretch it back. Woo. All right, team, so to give our wrist a little bit of a break, here's our mobility. You have a lot of options. If you can, up dog stretch, we'll also get a little bit, and then either child's pose or up dog to down dog all the way through, all right? If that's not right for you, I want you to take it bird dog to child's pose or bird dog to down dog. Does that make sense? So up dog to child's pose or down dog or bird dog. Lots of dogs here. Let's get it done. In three, two, one, mobility. Big stretch, keep those elbows in tight so we get those triceps working too. And then either down dog or child's pose, right? Right back to center. Take your time with it. You're getting a lot of upper body and core strength too. Woo. And then take it back right through here. Ha. Right through here. Take it down. Woo. Oh, arms, yes, get that stretch. Whatever it is for you. So close. Bring it up. Three, two, one. Relax. Everybody take a breather and stretch your wrist, all right? Now we did it. We're at the end. Choose your own adventure. Look how quickly that clock is going down, guys. All right, so you pick. You can go cardio. You can go strength, half and half. You can go down, down, up, up, jack, or you can take it with that up dog to down dog or child's pose. You pick, you do you, 40 seconds. I'm gonna go cardio just because of my wrist. Let's get it done, here we go. Ha. Woo! Jennifer home on her lunch saying good morning and we'll do it when she gets home. Hello, hello. Woo! Yes, Paula, I still am dealing with this never ending cold. <laughs> I don't know why, I feel good. 
I just still have that congestion. I know a lot of you can relate. If you want to take it to uppers, wherever you are, if you're doing that plank press, I want you to really think about that core working. I know your arms are tired. You're getting a lot of that upper body push, but think about that core. Yes, you can. Whatever you got. If you're punching with me, you want to take it hooks? Let's go hooks. Your workout, you do you. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. I want everybody to roll through those wrists. I know that's a lot down on the mat, but you did it, right? There's that heart rate wherever you are. Grab a sip of water. Should we get a little core? I think we should get a little core. How about it? All right, team. So our cardio core, we're starting here. We're crossing knees, all right? I want you to here to here. And then we're gonna take it down on our back. Our strength will be that bicycle. We'll take it to a version of a plank on our elbows for our power, then we'll get it done. Here we go. Cross those knees. So I wanna keep my elbows out if you can, if that's right for you, because we're gonna get that chest opener, right? All those muscles we just worked, let's get that opener right here and then cross your body. Not just this, but if you've got that rotation, I want you to go across right through here. Yes. 10 seconds to go. You can add more of a jump if you want. It's up to you. Your workout. Whoo! Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Woo! All right, team. So shake it out. Let's take it down on our backs. All right, regular bicycle. You can take it nice and slow here. If you're modifying, I want you to do a bridge with a knee. But if you can, let's bring that bicycle up. Three, two, one. Slow and controlled. So, so many parts to the bicycle. Yes, our legs are moving in that bicycle or out and in. If you really want to think of it as a bicycle, that adds a little, it makes it a little different. We're getting that torso rotation at the top, elbow to knee or shoulder to knee. And of course, it's a little crunch with both. But what I want you to think about is your core doing the work. So tilt that pelvis, tack those ribs down, bring those hip bones together, navel to spine. Right through here. Yes. Yes. Three, two, one. Hug those knees in. Yes team. All right, let's get some power on our elbows with our plank. Here's what we got. We're doing a little pike jump up, down. If that's not right for you, you can walk it in or you can just do a tap from the knees. But if you can lift the hips, use the core, power up, wrap it in, jump it back. 40 seconds. Here we go. Hup. Lift. So your goal is to really get those hips high, but to use your core to do it, right? Power, strength, and speed, you got it. You can also walk it up, walk it back. Think of that little dolphin plank that we do right through here. Up, down, yes. Oh, burn, I know. I feel it too. Five. Four, three, two, one. Stretch it back. Ah, yes, team. How about a little bit of mobility? I know. Who loves a good old cat cow? And then a bird dog. Cat cow and a bird dog. Join me here in three, two, one. Cat cow stretch. Bird dog. If you want a little extra core, shift those hips forward. Cat, cow, reach, yes. Oh, there we go. All the way through, really work on getting that spinal mobility. Reach. 
We got three, two, one, and relax. All right, team, choose your own adventure, right? Did we get them all in? We got our cardio cross knees. We got our bicycle strength. We got our power pike plank. And then we got our cat cow bird dog. You pick for your core what feels best for you. I'm gonna go with that power from the plank. You do you, we got 40 seconds. Starting in three, two, one, party time. Whoo, breathe, yes. Day it up. All the way through. Yes, you can. Again, even if you're doing that power, you don't have to have that pace, but you do want speed on the power, right? So even if I take a couple seconds in between, and then up, breathe, take it up. All the way through. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two and one stretch it back quick sip of water Alyssa is saying hi getting on the road to go to cali disneyland welcome just down the road from me whoo grab a sip of water team how are we feeling yeah me too okay all right team so here is what we got whoo we are going to take it ha, to one last quick round. See if we got time to get it in. We're gonna start with some cardio. Then we'll get some strength. Then we'll get some power. Then we'll get some mobility. It's gonna be a free for all. Getting it all in. Guess what? We're gonna call this our bonus round, right? That means everything is gonna feel a little bit like a bonus move and that's okay. But this is your bonus round so you don't have to worry about a whole bonus move. You just got four of them. All right, let's get it done. We're starting with a little cardio. Here's what I want, team. We're gonna shuffle it. We're gonna do a split lunge right through here. Shuffle it, split lunge right through here. If you wanna take the lunge out, you don't have to jump it. If you wanna take it out, you just do the shuffle. All right, we got 40 seconds there. Then we're down for a little bit of strength. Either way, I just want low in the shuffle so we get that lower body working. Yes, Jazz, bring it on. Dixie is ready. Let's get the heat. Finish it out. Shuffle and lunge. Shuffle, split lunge. Whew. One and then the other. You can also just do a back and a back, right? Take it shuffle here to here. If that is not right for you, you can also just do a squat, right? Or that shuffle because you are down in, right here. You're in that low athletic stance, so our legs are working the whole time, right? Shuffle. Yes, you can. Shake it out. All right, team, little bit of strength. Good work, right? It's all gonna be strength. It's all gonna be power, it's all gonna be cardio. Are you on to me? I think so. All right, so we're here. Fingertips in, feet here. It is a little tricep, go down, lift up with your glutes. If you want, we're gonna add a little kick at the top. Here we go. Tricep press, glutes and hamstrings. So from here to here, arms, and then really push up through the glutes and hamstrings. If that is not right for you, you can take that little first part out and just lift up. Reverse bridge or bridge here, squeezing the glutes, right? But if you can, get that little triceps. Elbows are in, bend, push, right? Back of the arms and lift right here. And up, there's our power, right? Little strength and power. Strength and power, relax. Roll it through right here. All right, team, here's our core. It's a fun one. You have two options. If you can't go all the way down, you're gonna go bird dog, bird dog, seated here, either with this or without this, either here, then back to center. If you can go all the way down, 
You're gonna go Superman, hold for a couple counts, roll it over, hold for a couple counts, all right? So make sure you got the space. If you don't have the space for that or you don't feel like doing it, pick one. Superman for back and core or that hollow hold. Let's do it. Here we go. Superman hold, squeezing that back. Roll it over, hold, squeezing the core. Roll it over. And up. I know, you're like, where's the mobility, Amy? Right? If you're taking this, then to a seated position, with or without this, if that's better for you, right? Lift, ha! Whoo! Roll it over. Getting crazy on a Saturday. Hi, lady! Breathe and up. Yes, you can. Can we get one more? And up. Whoo! Hug those knees in. All right, team. One last one. We're gonna get mobility. Yes, we are. All right, so we're here. I want you to watch me here. We're gonna take it down dog, stretch the leg up. We're gonna get that pigeon pose, right? Let's get it done. Three, two, one. So down dog lift, pigeon if you can. Now if that is not right for you, you can just take it back to all fours and just switch your pigeon. Or you can just hold that pigeon. If you wanna get the down dog, we're gonna get a little extra upper and core. Otherwise, just your pigeon, all right? You do you. Your workout. Up, whoo, pigeon. Make sure you get a hold, right? Take it up. Pigeon. Right through here. Take it up, whoo. I think I just did that leg, but that's okay. Ha! Ha! Yes, Polly, you can always have that bird dog in your back pocket and use it anytime there's something in a plank position or a mat position that is not right for you. Bird dog is a great substitution. Whoo! <laughs> and relax, carry over 160 people all over the world rolling on the floor. All right, team, this is it, your last one. Choose your own adventure. Do you remember them? Your mobility is that down dog to pigeon. You've got that rollover, right? Your Superman to your hollow hold. You've got your tricep bridge, or you're here and you're here. I'm going here. I'm taking it full cardio, full power. We have 40 seconds. Let's finish it out. Shuffle. Wherever you are for this last move, this is your 40 second bonus move. Choose your own adventure. Whatever you got in this moment, this is it, I promise. Breathe down and down. Hang with me, 20 seconds. And breathe. My body was like, no, we're done. But we're not, 15. Ha. Last five, four, <laughs> something about that side. Three, two, one, shake it out. Who is proud of me for getting that timer right on the dot? Or at least I think so. Sometimes we're on a little bit of a delay, but ah, I'm proud of me. Shake it out right here. Yes, team, you did it. Listen, I woke up with a headache. I was not feeling it. Kids were whiny this morning but we're here, right? I feel so much better than when I started. And I hope you do too. I hope you are ready for the weekend. Maybe you're closing out your weekend, depending on where you are. But you showed up for this. You showed up for this power challenge. And let me remind you that no matter what your power calendar looks like, maybe this is your day one. That's okay. We got fresh coming up, we're ready for you. Maybe you've been working out for years. Maybe you got every day in January or you didn't get any days. It is okay. You are here right now and you are doing it. You're making that commitment to working hard and getting stronger, healthier, more fit, feeling better, better mental health, better physical health, all of it. You're doing that just by being here. 
I don't care what it looks like. I don't care if you were rolling over on the floor and you felt like a worm. I know I did. You were moving your body. That's good mobility, right? So don't worry about what it looked like. I always say if you're moving safely and effectively, that is all that matters. And you know what else I always say? If you showed up, you are successful. Angela is feeling stiff from her first long run of the training cycle. Angela is doing a 50K, y'all. Woo! Other Angela has a new sports bra. <laughs> Excellent. Dixie, thank you. Thanks for coming to the party. Amazing job on power. Woo! Heather, this is my big stress reliever. Husband is out of commission, all sick with migraines. I'm so sorry, I get them too. This is the worst. Tell him we're thinking of him. I'm so glad you could do something for you, Heather, because I'm sure you're taking care of him. Fingertips on the back, bring it here. Ha! Ah, thank you, Marie Christine. Ooh, Jessica woke up feeling like she's got a cold coming on, but decided to work out feeling so much better. I'm so glad, Jessica. Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's just a little fatigue or allergies or something coming on, but if you can get moving lightly and it feels good for you, it can be really helpful. Ooh, Cynthia, yes, thank you. Wouldn't have done that on my own. I wouldn't have either, so thank you. Thank you all for being here. <laughs> Nikki, thank you so much. Allison loved it. I'm so glad, team. Ha. Ah. All right, roll those wrists because we got a lot on that mat today, as is the body weight workout. If you can hang out for a few minutes, we're gonna chat. We're gonna talk through what's coming up in February. If you have any questions, I'll try to get to them. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your body weight power party workout. Great job, everybody. Whoo! All right, y'all. I am feeling it. All right, I'm gonna grab a sip here get my computer let's chat all right if you want to continue to get some stretching on the mat i would highly encourage it while you're listening to me Woo! all right amanda is excited for the next challenge karina is feeling so much better oh mary beth i'm sorry you've been ill but i'm so glad that you're recovering so much fun, Jody. <laughs> I loved when you said earlier, five bonus moves, right? <laughs> Tricked you. <laughs> oh, Jody loves the party format. I'm so glad. I do like to, it's harder to do in a pre-recorded workout because I know it can get confusing sometimes, but I really like the idea of letting you decide what you need today, right? We're going to get it in. We're going to get that strength, that cardio, that mobility, all the things that we all need but maybe you need more mobility today. Maybe you've got that energy and you want more cardio. You gotta get it out. Like Heather was saying, it's your stress relief. You be where you are today. That's what this format is all about. That's really what all these workouts are all about, right? All right, team. Whoo. Ah, <laughs> Janine says, tall girl, narrow apartment, awkward to roller shuffle. I know, that is the thing I usually remind you, you know, use the space you have. Um, believe it or not, my studio space is pretty small. I like that some of you say it looks big on TV, but, um, but so I get it. You, got, you kinda have to use the distance that you have, and again, as long as you're moving. But um, good for you, again, that was really good mobility. Um, Melanie, excited for the next challenge. Whoever's doing the 50K, it's Angela. Kick butt, yeah, she's in training mode. Yes, Dixie is energized and on to tackling the day. Oh my gosh, it was your first live party workout, Angela. Yeah, I try to do these at the end of the month. It's become a, like a fun, special thing that we do um, to just really like close out, like celebrate that we finished power. And again, I don't care what your calendar looked like. If you're here today, you finished power. Um, so it's fun to do that. And then I really like the choose your own adventure. <clears throat> So let's see, Rita says, feeling uncertain on which workout to do on Saturdays when I need to get in earlier than live after following your weekly schedule. Any suggestions? So what a lot of people do, I know we're all in different time zones. So, you know, if you're, 
in a different country or a different state, um, it is hard. Sometimes this is too late in the day. I know some of you, like Karina, is doing it at 8 p.m. So what a lot of people in the community say that they do is they do last week's live that if they know um, or they find a live that they have missed in the past, um, you know, again, I try to make the lives based on the calendar. We get three good strength days on the calendar and we get, um, you know, a more cardio based day and an active recovery day. So I try to make the lives where we get a mix of everything. Yes, they're usually strength based, but I try to get a little more cardio and mobility. So you have that in as well. So that's always a good option. Otherwise, I would say look at your week. If you got a full calendar, then you really could pick anything, but see how you're feeling. If you're super sore from yesterday, maybe you want an active recovery, maybe you want a cardio based, um, but I would go by that. If you've gotten, if you need an extra strength day, if you've only gotten one or two things in, add that in. But I know what a lot of people do is they do the past week's live in the morning or whenever it fits into their schedule on the following Saturday, if that makes sense. Um, the, all these lives stay up on the channel guys, just so you know, um, Margaret is new to the format, but not new to working out, planning to try this for February runner here that needs to focus on your strength. You are in the right place, Margaret, just like Angela and so many others in our community. We have a lot of runners who do the strength days, um, which on my workout calendar is usually the days one, three, and five. And then this bonus Saturday, um, or, and you can pick those, you can pick what fits into your schedule. All runners and all athletes need that cross training, need that strength that's so important to the health of your joints and your muscles and making sure you don't go into overtraining. So, and Angela will be the first to tell you that it also will really help improve your endurance. Angela ran, I think it was a half marathon. I just put this on my Instagram. She was body fitter of the month. Um, basically training with these workouts, not able to run very much, but still was able to get her endurance work. So. Obviously you need to train for running as well, but, um, but definitely get that strength in as well. So, um, welcome Margaret. You are in the right place. Oh, thank you, Amy. I feel so blessed to have found you. Oh, I'm so glad. I feel so blessed too. Dawn and her little one tell her we are so proud of her for working out with you. Ah, Jessica, am I the only one who misses the 35 minute live? I know. You know what? They're probably coming back. We did that when we did the 25 to 30 minute um, workout calendars, August, September, and then a little bit. Now uh, we'll probably add that extra five minutes because as you guys can tell, I usually get there, right? I usually am adding a little bit more. So we have some longer workouts coming up next month. Not too much longer. I would say everything is still going to be in that 25 to 35, sometimes 35 to 40 range. So please just go with it. I know sometimes you're really tight on time. You can always sub in a different workout if you need something shorter, um, or you can cut out the last circuit or something like that. But um, I'm trying to push, push you to get a little bit longer just because we can all do it. We all need it, but not all of them will be that way, right? Um, yes, Julie, also a runner. Monica, hello, and Sans. Julie, 56th birthday. I did throw a party for you. Happy birthday, Julie. Thank you so much for coming to your bodyweight power party birthday party that we had for you. Excellent. All right, Lutfa in South Africa. Karina says, I just choose any workout from my favorite list from Amy's workouts. Yes, I love that too. Thank you so much, Karina. If you're looking for something to do on a Saturday, a lot of you tell me you can do this on YouTube. You can create your own favorites playlist. So you create a playlist or you just copy that link, put it in you know, a, a document somewhere or an email draft, something like that. So you know, oh, this one was really fun for me. I felt really good doing this. Um, and go back to that. So really just think of it as, you know, depending on what your training schedule is, but if you're following the calendar, you really can get anything on Saturdays that feels good for you. Cause we get it all during the week. Um, yes. All right. So Angela was so excited to be about it for the month. Now I choose your own adventure of running plus calendar workouts. Yes. Um, thank you, Janine. Have the great rest of your weekend as well. <clears throat> Jessica, oh, thank you for leading by example and showing what it means to be where you are today, right? Right, when I'm like, oh, my wrist is hurting or last week I was like, oh, I've got a cold. Listen, I will always be right there with you. I will try to get you through the workout, but I'm not gonna push myself if it's not right for me. Um, excellent team, all right. Paula, how many strength days do you recommend? I like strength more than cardio, but I guess cardio is more important. Nope, 
Nope, don't listen to that. I don't know who you're talking to. Um, we need both, right? But here's what we need. We need to be overloading the muscles for strength, right? For bone density, for muscle fiber, for mobility. We need to be challenging our hearts and our lungs. That is the key, right? We need to be getting our heart rate up, getting a little bit out of breath. Doesn't have to be anything crazy, but we need that endurance and stamina work, but you can get that in a strength workout. I'm sure everybody here and you too, Paula, cause you felt it, you know, you can get that in a strength workout. So unless you have very specific goals of cardio, like you are a runner or you need a little extra, or you just really enjoy the cardio, you don't need a ton of extra cardio because in these workouts, you are going to get it. How many of you, I mean, everybody can say this, right? When you're lifting weights, when you're moving something heavy, think about what's happening in your body. It takes more energy to move something heavy, like a dumbbell or a kettlebell, than it does just to move your body through space, right? So how many of you have, you know, noticed or felt, you know, or seen on your fitness trackers, if you track your heart rate, um, that your heart rate gets up higher when you do something heavy than when you do traditional cardio. So that is something that, you know, for a lot of years, even when I first started training people, it was all about, you got to get separate cardio and then strength. But now we know, especially in my type of workouts, interval training hit. Um, metabolic resistance training, that MRT, right? You're gonna get it in this workout. So you don't need a ton of extra unless you want to. We put it on the calendar so because a lot of us enjoy that, right? And it's good active recovery, high intensity active recovery, but you don't need to think that you need a whole lot of extra days of that. Um, if, and I always tell people, if you only have a few days a week to work out, prioritize your strength. Listen, I don't like those questions when people are like, what is better, strength or cardio? Because we need both, same with mobility, same with endurance, all of that. But if you have to pick one, it's always gonna be strength training because you're gonna get your cardio within it. And what we know about the body is we need strength. Bones, muscles, joints, our brain, all of it, we need that strength. So get it in. Um, all right, team, let's see, let's see. I wanna talk about fresh. So Monica's got, back to work out to the end of December. I'm really happy that you are here. I'm so glad you've been able to get it done. Um, oh, Chastity, great one. I use her Bowflex workout if I can't make a live. Yes, so I do a live workout on Mondays that also stays up on the Bowflex YouTube channel, not this one, that are a mix of kettlebell and dumbbell. So that's a great option as well. Lori, I'm still sore from yesterday's workout. Should I take an active recovery or if I'm still sore? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, totally up to you. I say you could, generally speaking, I would say active recovery if you have a whole lot of soreness, but you guys know movement really helps. So you could start a workout and if it's really feeling like too much with your sore muscles, I was feeling, I filmed a workout for you guys yesterday and when I started this workout, especially that first round, right? With my quads were on fire and I was thinking I was still so sore, but by the end of the workout, I was feeling better, right? So it's a, some of it's a little bit of listening to your body. Um, as long as you're not overdoing it or doing a lot of the same, like I wouldn't do the same heavy strength or heavy high intensity workout two days in a row. But if you can get that variety, I think you go by how you feel. Maybe start the regular workout that you maybe want to do, see how it feels, go to active recovery if it's too much. So, um, yes, thank you, Kayla. According to my Apple watch, I burn more on weight days than any body weight days, heavy weights, has my heart rate up to 182. Thank you, Kayla. Listen, you know me, I don't want you to get super stressed about the numbers and get really too into tracking, but Kayla's a good example of it can be really helpful to see your heart rate is getting up when she's lifting weights more so than the cardio, right? <clears throat> yes, Heather is also saying up in the 170s. Get it all in. All right, team, so excellent, excellent. All right, team. Um, then what kind of planks would be good for beginners? So here's what I would suggest. And I do have some beginner core workouts. So check out beginner abs is if you can be in this quadruped position, obviously that bird dog is really good. And what I always say is if you want to feel more of your core, you take it a little bit forward in your hips. You can also just do a little hover. This is that bear plank. If you just lift from your core, lift those knees off the ground, that's pretty challenging, but just do it for maybe 10 seconds at a time. Another thing I love for beginner planks is what I call plank singles, where you start here, you use your core to lift to the knees, maybe that's enough for you. Then you use your core to lift all the way up, hold for a few seconds here, 
then back down to the knees, then back down. This is a really effective exercise for everybody. The thing you wanna think about is not pushing through your elbows and your toes, right? That's not using my core, that's me pushing through my toes. But if I try to take that out of it and really lift from the core, that deep, deep core, it's really challenging. So that plank, that plank single is challenging for everybody, but it's a great one for beginners because you can take it super slow, go up to the knees first, if you can go up to the toes, and then take your time with it. You don't have to hold very long at all. Um, otherwise, just holding a plank for five to 10 seconds at a time. Don't put that pressure on yourself to do 30 or 40 seconds. So, um, Monica, yes, this live will be available tomorrow. All the lives stay up. There's, you can click on my channel. You can click under live and you'll find it. Or if you just go to videos, um, you can swipe through because this will be the day after. So, um, here we go. All right, team. Uh, let's see. Yay, Karisha is following me since 2020. Excellent. Okay, so let's talk about fresh. All right, team. So, you know, we're always trying to come up with a fun challenge, a fun title for the challenge, something that gets us excited. And Vivian, our dietitian, actually came up with this. And I was like, I love that. Keeping it fresh, right? So we want to have a really strong title, but we also want something that gets you excited. And if you saw um, my little promo for it, it's here on YouTube. It's also on my Instagram. Uh, the thing I start with is it's February. How's your New Year's resolution going? And then I immediately tell you that I don't care about that. I don't want you to stress about that. But this is the time of year in the next month or so that people start saying, oh, I quit on my New Year's resolution or oh, I failed on my goal. And you have not. You have not failed. You have not quit. Again, I don't care what the last four weeks look like for you. I care that you're here now. And if you're somebody who has been super consistent, who feels like you're on it, we want to keep your brain and your body engaged. So it's all about keeping it fresh in February. So what is unique about this calendar is every day is a different format. All of our workout calendars for the month, every day is a different workout. We keep it fun in that way. But sometimes we'll have a couple, like this past week, we had two different pyramid versions. We'll have a couple Tabatas. Every day of this next month fresh calendar, is going to be a different format. We do have two different Tabatas because everybody loves Tabata, right? But one is a Tabata and one is a Tabata hit. So they're a little bit different in their format. One is body weight, one is dumbbells. So other than that, everything is different. Everything is gonna be a lot of fun. So the goal is to keep it fresh. So we keep moving through February. We keep that energy, that momentum, that motivation. Um, through that we feel sometimes in the new year, often in the new year, and we keep it going. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. We got a lot of fun things happening in the Body Fit Athletic Club. Of course, you can do the challenge completely for free. Please make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel here and that you're on my email list. All that information is in the description here um, and on my website because that is how you're gonna get your free weekly and monthly calendars. And remember, you'll get the links early on Sunday. So you'll get the links to all the workouts. Otherwise, you have to wait until they're released. And I know, again, we do that. So those of you that are in different time zones or do your workouts on a different day have those options, right? So make sure you're on the email list. We're not gonna spam you, I promise, but we are gonna send you your calendars and your, uh, your workouts um, and make sure that you're subscribed here. Otherwise, we would love to have you join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club. That is where you get all the extras, right? All the extra support. You get the community support. It's an amazing community. So many of you are here today. Karina, Melanie, um, Angela, all of you guys, Dixie. So many of our athletic clubbers are here. We're like family. We support each other. It's all on the Body Fit by Amy app. So we have a private community. It's away from all of their social media. So you have a place that you can come and talk about what's going on in your life and in your fitness and your health journey. You also get the method nutrition plan, which we've told you guys, not a diet. It is a way to build a balanced plate. All foods fit. We're not about telling you to count calories or macros or don't eat this, only eat this. It is about making all foods fit. Um, and Vivian and I are going live in the group every week. We do live streams, we do Q and A's, we answer your questions. So we are there for you in every way. So join us in the athletic club if you want that extra support. We also just recently launched Body Fit Elite. If you were looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching, working with me and Vivian directly, if you want a personalized program, 
that is customized to you and your goals and your challenges, check out Body Fit Elite. We have all that information as well. Yes, Sandra is ready for a fresh. Thank you, Dana. She says, thank you, Amy and Vivian. Dana also in our athletic club. Amber, yes, I'm so glad that you are back at it. I just saw that you're back, excellent. Uh, listen guys, it is gonna be so fun. Melanie, also in the athletic club. Um, it's gonna be a fun month. So whether you're just joining us for the challenge on YouTube, whether you were joining us in the athletic club or for elite, it's gonna be a really fun month. I'm so proud of all of you for your hard work on power. Um, <laughs> Tamika says, tell Raising Dory she looks amazing. Excellent, yes, Raising Dory is my friend Elise. She's in a workout coming up next week, or second week actually, um, and she's a lot of fun. She really brings a lot of energy, so that's uh, other ways that we're keeping it fresh is we're gonna bring some guest stars into the workouts because that makes it a lot of fun. It feels like we're all working out as a group of friends together. I like to think all our workouts feel like you and me are working out as just close friends in my garage, right? I hope so. I love it when you guys tell me that. Uh, so, excellent team. Fresh is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, get excited. Ah, Tabata's my fave. Mary Beth says, that was my first Amy workout seven years ago. Mary Beth, we've been together a long time. Just celebrated nine years on YouTube, y'all. And it's been a wild ride. And I'm so thankful to all of you because you were really what made it happen. So yes, Dixie says, best choice I've ever made. BAC will change the way you feel about working out. Ah. Kayla loves waking up at 4 a.m. to you. Oh, I'm so glad. And I'm so glad I don't actually have to wake up at 4 a.m. with you, Kayla, but I'm there for you. I am there for you on YouTube. <laughs> All right, team, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your weekend. Congrats on finishing power. I am so proud of all of you. I feel like I hear some kiddos running out to greet me. <laughs> so, um, all right team, thank you so much for being here. Have a good weekend and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye team.